Kira here, and today I'll be sharing with you a really fun and interesting robotics project using Arduino. While this project is actually a good place to start learning with, and it's even for kids, for students, and for hobbyists alike. We'll be making a simple mobile robot. And I know it sounds a bit intermediate, but it's actually fairly simple and it will even make you more enthusiastic in learning Arduino. Also, based on my experience, the process is more enjoyable if you have a project goal that you want to accomplish. I say based on my experience because back in my junior high school days, I used to assist tutoring kids how to code. And what I noticed was that they were more interested in projects that they could manipulate or play with afterwards. They wanted to see actions or have their projects move. And this mobile robot is actually one of those fun and playful projects. And by the end of my tutorials, these are the projects that we will be able to make. Line following robot. Edge avoidance mobot. An obstacle avoidance mobot. and a Bluetooth-controlled mobot. Here are some examples of my past projects. Some of the projects here will be similar to the ones that we are gonna make. Okay, so this is what our mobile robot looks like. It's the final one. So there, as you can see there, we have these, a lot of components. And if you were to buy the components individually or separately, it would be more expensive than buying it as a set. And you can actually find the sets in online shops like Amazon, eBay, Alibaba, Banggood, and Lazada. However, the problem with the sets is that you're not guaranteed that you'll be able to make it work, which is also another purpose of this tutorial aside from our project goals. And another is that um, the sets do not include this. It's the line tracker module and this, the Bluetooth module. Those, it does not include those. However, I do recommend that you buy the modules since um, what you'll be having with the set is the ultrasonic sensor. And the ultrasonic sensor is for our obstacle avoidance robot. And that's the code there, or the making of it is actually pretty intermediate already. While whereas the line tracker sensor, it's for our line following mobot and our edge avoidance mobot. It's actually sort of like the beginner's part of the project, it's easier and it's pretty simple to explain so it's easier for you to understand. And also here we have the Bluetooth module 
that's for um, you to be able to control it using your phone and the Bluetooth module is also not included but I do recommend that you have it because by having all of these modules you're making your project more feature rich. So before we proceed, I'll be showing you first the inclusions of the kit and the extras. So first we start with this. This is sort of like the body of our mobile here. And it actually comes with this instructionals manual. And it's actually only for this one. So it won't be of too much help or much help at all because it doesn't really have anything to do with the other components and where you have to put it. And here we can see this one. It's actually the board, like where we put our components on. It's like the body of the Mobot. And if you peel off the sticker, the brown sticker, it's actually transparent. It will look like this. And I actually recommend you leave the sticker on because it makes the body firmer and more durable because um, the transparent part or by removing it it's actually pretty prone to cracks especially when you're screwing in the components and next we have this this is our DC motor controller and as you can see here we have two DC motors and two wheels. So the DC motor controller, this one, can actually accommodate only two DC motors. That's why we have a caster wheel right here. Our project will be having two wheels, two DC motors, and a caster wheel. This is because if we were to have a four-wheel drive robot, it would be mm, too expensive for a beginner's project and having two wheels and a caster wheel is already sufficient plus as you can see here <clears throat> if we were to have another one of this for the other two wheels and two dc motors it would uh, there's actually no more space left here so what we'll be needing if we actually want to have the four wheel drive is to have a different model which is actually that one over there that's the four-wheel drive model and it's actually pretty, uh, more expensive so I actually recommend just having the two-wheel drive at the moment first before you proceed with the four-wheel drive one next we have our Arduino board this is already included in the set or kit Arduino board here and it also has the expansion board and when we go here there as you can see this is the DC motor controller this is the expansion board and below the expansion board we have our Arduino board right here next is our ultrasonic sensor this one We'll be using this for our obstacle avoidance mobot and we also have the servo motor and this this is actually a camera holder but we use this to hold our servo motor and our ultrasonic sensor in this project. So you can see this is this is the camera holder here and inside you can see the servo motor and this is the ultrasonic sensor this set also comes with this this is um this is our usb connector we connect our arduino board with this to our computer to send out the code and stuff and this is actually pretty similar to our printer's cable or connectors so if your printer cable or cord is actually much longer and you prefer to use that, you can actually use that too. So that's actually everything that's included in the kit. But I also do recommend you to buy the line, line tracker module. I already explained it earlier. 
but I do recommend you to buy this and also our Bluetooth module. Also, um, during your assembly of your mobot, you'll actually it really depends on your on your taste or depends on you. But I do recommend that you also have these. These are actually spacers here. We use it to hold our components up and I actually recommend that you have them if you want to but it's pretty much optional. It actually helps you make your mobot much neater. There. I, I use it for this here um, to hold up the Bluetooth module there. It's actually pretty helpful to have extras just in case you need them. So that's pretty much it. Okay, so I actually think that this video is pretty long now. So I'll be ending it here and our next tutorial or video will be about this little guy. I'll be teaching you how to assemble him. And I'll be showing you or guiding you throughout the process to make it um, to make the process more smooth and easy. So here. Be sure to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to receive updates on my next video. And also comment and share. With that, bye!